These lush green landscapes are the wealth of Africa. Wherever agriculture thrives, it is the nexus that baths communities, providing 26% of GDP and about 60% of total export earnings. Agriculture is Kenya's mainstay as 80% of local populations derive their livelihoods from it. Sadly, production has dwindled in recent years, mainly due to climate change. Kipkebe Limited is one of many plantations that produce the tea that ranks third among top tea producers worldwide and number one in the black tea specialty. For tea and indeed every industry in Kenya, the biggest challenge is ever rising energy costs. That energy we were using then was not only expensive and non-renewable, uh, it wasn't sustainable. The UN Sustainable Development Goals of 2015 are a universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet and ensure peace and prosperity for all by 2030. In particular, SGD number 7 calls for the adoption of affordable, reliable, sustainable and clean energy. And so this solar energy came to us as a no-brainer. We saw the investment as something that uh, was really beneficial to the organization. Uh, it's quite sustainable, uh, especially if we are able to harness most of it during the eight hours daytime. And uh, it's uh, quite affordable compared to other sources of power. For instance, uh, this can be about 50% uh, the, the cost of the normal grid energy supply. And this is the gist of the Kipkebe and Keritor PV solar power project. To take it all in, let's take a deep dive into what exactly just happened here. We were approached by a local leasing organization, Rentco, um, that brought us a very good model of financing that we thought was very affordable. It didn't require upfront cash outlays from ourselves and uh, it gave us the flexibility to do this project and use the cash that we had for other projects. And so that was attractive for us. Rentco Africa a regional independent asset leasing company is focused on accelerating sustainable business growth for clients, mainly through leasing solutions which enable businesses to take on bold investment steps with minimal impact on their capital expenditure. As a business, our purpose and our intention is to support sustainable business growth. And with our partner Sassini PLC, this is exactly what we have done with this uh, plant. Rentco Africa proposed, designed and delivered the 1.3 megawatt Kipkebe and Keritor solar PV plant for Sassini PLC through the subsidiary Rentco Renewable Energy Limited. The project was installed in collaboration with Rentco Africa's EPC partner Spenomatic Group. And this is not your typical power plant. This single-axis tracking solar system optimizes radiation all day long. Through its sun tracking system and bifacial modules, which ensure that even the underside of the panel also harnesses solar energy, a first of its kind in this region. In layman's language, it will follow the way the sun what moves. The 1.3 megawatt plant will meet an estimated 30% of Kipkebe and Keritor factories total power demand. The cost of saving power per consumption unit is also 30% lower than available on grid options. Just between uh, September and December, the company was able to save 10 million Kenya shillings from the use of what? The energy. But this figure will go up because during that time was the testing period. We were still going through some teething problems. Over the duration of the 12-year PPA with Rentco, Sassini PLC is estimated to earn over 250 million shillings in electric energy savings. After that, Rentco Africa hands the solar facility over to Sassini PLC who will enjoy higher savings throughout the estimated 30-year lifespan of the solar plant. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. 
not every home in this country is connected with power. So by Sassini taking 30% from renewable energy, we are actually creating 30% capacity. Capacity taken off the power grid to benefit needy power consumers in the vicinity of the plant. We were able to produce a kilo of tea for less. Uh, we are able to pay more because we retain our prices in the market, so we can pay more for that kilo of tea. Uh, solar is free, and uh, in the tropics we receive about eight hours of solar. And with this kind of project, we are able to monetize this natural resource. Uh, it's quite sustainable, uh, especially if we are able to harness most of it in the eight hours a time. Beyond economics, the shift in the direction of solar is driven by a deeper concern. Uh, with this 650 uh, kilowatt power, we are able to offset up to 35,000 tons of CO2 or general greenhouse gases, and uh, that's a good thing for the environment. We haven't done enough. Uh, the world is still getting warmer, uh, more than one and a half degrees annually, and that's something we need to reverse. Kipkebe and Keritor PV plant is a beacon of our innovative technology, a business solution that ensures sustainability and growth for us and for Mother Earth, whose limitless gifts anchor our very existence.